time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. This Ryan Report is brought to you by the watch that I traveled to Miami to the hood because I saw it online and thought it would be great and then forgot I had it. Are you serious? Yes. It tells you the time by repeating a chime. You want to hear it? Yeah. Here you go. I still don't hear anything. That that makes it two fifteen. How the how did you come up with that? Was that Morse code? The first two chimes were the hour, and then the one two. The the five. Oh, how annoying is your watch at eleven o'clock? It doesn't do that unless you hit the button. That's the whole point. Oh, which I'm gonna get into later on. Okay. Buying things off the internet. Yeah. You suck at that. That are smaller than they appear. Yeah, you're not good at that. I'm telling you, man, it just it went wrong from the blow up doll. <laughs> All right, let's start off with uh, Erica Badu. Of course, the Ryan Report is on v-13.com, home of Sonya Murray. She lives there digitally. Yeah. Um, Erica Badu says she's in training to be a midwife. Mm. She tells People Magazine that uh, when I saw the baby, I cried. I knew what I was supposed to do with my life. I guess, to be a midwife. So that's her new job now. Just to be a midwife. Yeah, she works with mothers a month before they have the baby. She will comfort them during labor and aid them in relaxation, and then it gets gross. She says she'll even go so far as sharing her own home video of giving birth. Yeah, that's disgusting. Which, of course, brings me to my favorite birthing dance, the Octomom. One, two, three, Is that the four. <laughs> The birthing dance. Eight babies. For the people who are not watching this, y'all all gotta be dash one three com to see the Octomom dance. Like, it was kind of a mix between the butterfly. You gotta be pushing them out, <laughs> pushing them out. Feel like you're pooping a pumpkin. Oh my god. According to the ladies I know, oh. give birth like pooping a pumpkin. You oh. didn't, you will never understand. Please don't scare those of us that have never done it. That's what they say. Okay. That's what ladies say. Um, Erica says no one feels threatened by my celebrity. It's important they see I do not cry and scream. They're amazed. They don't have to be afraid. Right. For every And I never had a baby, but I'm sure when ladies hear this, it's important that they see I do not cry or scream. Yeah. They're like, please, Epidural. Right. Now. Well, my midwife's not crying, so I shouldn't either. My, my favorite thing, my, my wife, when, when she had Caden, <laughs> she, after she got the Epidural, she was like, put my legs down. Put my legs down. She was like, your legs are down. <laughs> Okay, (laughs) moving on to uh, Big Sean. This is an awful segue. He's in court over sex abuse charge. Um, He and another associate are accused of sexually abusing a fan. Mm. Uh, You know, now she's rocking Sean John. Maybe they put a hand in my pan. Yeah. Probably going to use that line against him. Sure. Uh, George ordered a gag order because the victim is underage. A 17-year-old fan said that uh, Big Sean and somebody else uh, assaulted him after a concert, charged with third degree sexual abuse, forcible touching, and second degree unlawful imprisonment. Both men are freed on five hundred dollars bail. They go back to court on October 11th, where they can go in front of a grand jury. Yeah, court. I mean, once the evidence comes out, court those things. Because no matter. Do you remember a few years back when Anthony Anderson, the actor, yeah. was report? There was a woman reported running from his trailer naked and screaming, and he was charged with sexual assault charges and nothing ever came of it because once the story came out you know uh she she meant to leave excuse me what she meant to leave what do you mean she meant to leave once she saw him naked oh my god ah! whatever if rick ross gets it so does he hey hey rick ross is a sex symbol uh, oh. gross. <laughs> lil wayne hey hey huh Lil Wayne has the number one album in the country. I believe if Baby would have known they were going to be 36000 short, he might have went out and bought some copies. 964. Mm. 964,000 copies during the Most. first week. That's incredible. That's amazing. Lil Wayne tweets this. Thanks to all who bought my album and helped me feed my family as if they were starving. Sure. I want to thank my children. You know who they are. They're all on reality shows. I love you all. I honestly do. 
God knows this is true. Wow. I have the best fans in the universe. I thank you all. Hard work and dedication pays well. Yeah, okay. If Wayne could go. feed his family for three years with that crap he's got in his mouth alone. He's got like diamonds like drilled into his dirty teeth. He could pay. But I think that's great though. I'm being positive. I think that's amazing because nobody sells those type of records anymore. Lady Gaga. She's what sells. So that's amazing. Good for him. I'm glad you can eat now. Maybe you can buy some soap. And some jeans. The men's kind. Go to the men's side. The side without all the frilly stuff. Rob the jewelry store told him, make me a grill. <laughs> That's your Ryan Report. Right here on your free money station, it is V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know.